This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the Lumetri Color Panel in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the HSL Secondary section of the Lumetri Panel to create a color key. A color key is the ability to select a color in the frame, then apply color correction settings to it. A mask is the ability to draw a shape within the frame, then apply color, correct color correction settings within the mask. And in this example, we'll use both. Let me show you how this works. Here, for instance, I want to change the color of her top. It's a pretty top, looks good, but maybe I want it to be an orange or a blue because I forgot to set the costume the way I want. Well, let's make this smaller so I can see around the edges. Then we're going to go to the HSL secondary. What a secondary does, it allows me to change something inside the frame, and I'm changing it based upon the color. So I'm going to click my eyedropper tool and drag across, and it selects that color, pink. But you don't know how much it's selected until you check this box to see color gray. And you realize, whoop, i got to add to it. So I'll click here and drag across. And I'll click here and drag across. And suddenly, I'm, I select originally here. I add to the shot here. I subtract by dragging what I don't want up here. And I'm, well, I've got some selection, but it's really kind of poor. Instead, I'm going to work with these HSL sliders, hue, saturation, and luminance. The top knob allows me to select the... The top knob allows me to select the hue to dial in exactly on that pink. This is the selection range. This is the feathering. And this is what centers the range. I want to find the best possible selection of the color with the least amount of all the rest of the garbage. This allows me to control saturation. So I'm going to drag here and find more values for saturation. I'm going to drag this white line back and forth so I can get the least garbage in the background and the most of her top. And then we'll drag this. There we go. And now I've got a good selection. There we are. I've got her top. I've got very little of the rest of the frame, although I have some. How do I exclude it? You use a mask. Go over to the effect controls, and under the Lumetri control, we have the ability to create elliptical masks, rectangular masks, and free-drawn beziers. I'm going to click outside the frame. Click, click. Now let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing in more detail. Click and drag to set a curve. Click and drag to give me a curve. Click and drag for a curve. Click, click, and then click on the starting point, and I've now closed the shape. You can grab one of those dots and drag it. Grab the Bezier control handles and change the shape of the curve. So now I've isolated her top from the rest of her. To get rid of this gray border, uncheck the color gray checkbox. And now I have access to her top without anything else. As I skim through the clip, notice that she's changing position, but it's still within the mask. And I want to change the color. So I could deal with just a single color control and say change it to blue. But when I'm dealing with this kind of a key, I prefer dealing with all three. Rather than just the midtones. I want to also work with the shadows. I also want to work with the highlights. And now we've got this really nice purple top. It's a little bit too saturated. We'll pull the saturation down just a bit. Or maybe I want it to be an orange top. Notice that I still have the shading, light on one side, dark on the other. I still see the texture of the fabric. I'm able to manipulate the color separate from the grayscale. Set this back to fit. Deselect the clip so our mask disappears. 
we have a nice orange top. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at the Lumetri color panel inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 229. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.